Stop scrolling if you're an advanced drone pilot or you're planning on becoming one because Canada's drone regulations are changing. And whether you're studying right now or already certified, these changes are going to affect what you can do in the sky. Things are getting easier and better. Within the next few minutes, we're breaking down exactly what's changing, what new privileges are coming your way, and the one thing that every pilot needs to keep in mind before November 2025. Let's get into it. So first things first, the big questions on everyone's mind. Do I need more training? Is my test changing? Is the course I'm in still valid? Well, here's the answer, plain and simple. No, you do not need additional training if you're going for your advanced pilot certificate or hold one now. No, the test is not necessarily changing. And yes, if you're currently enrolled in an advanced drone pilot ground school course, the course is still 100% valid whether it's through us at Coastal or another Transport Canada self-declared provider, keep on going. Already certified, even better, you're about to level up. That's right, your advanced certification is getting an upgrade. There's no extra exams, there's no added requirements, just new privileges that expand what you can do as a certified advanced drone pilot. So here's what you'll unlock under the new updated rules. Number one, sheltered operations. You'll be allowed to fly small drones closer to buildings and structures, which is perfect for inspections and tight urban jobs. Number two, EV loss or extended visual line of sight. You can now operate beyond the pilot's direct view as long as you're using a trained visual observer. And number three, medium drones within visual line of sight. That means flying drones up to 150 kilograms or 331 pounds, as long as they stay within your visual line of sight. Now, when do these changes kick in? The official date is November 4th, 2025. So yeah, you've got some time to figure this out, but that doesn't mean you should wait until the last minute. Just because no new training is required doesn't mean you should stop learning. And if you plan on taking advantage of these new operations, you'll probably need to update your procedures and safety protocols to update your SOP manuals. And there's one more thing before we wrap up. Every drone pilot in Canada, whether basic or advanced, must complete a recency activity every 24 months. So if you're getting close to your renewal date, don't put it off. Set a reminder, stay current, and keep your certificate active and compliant. And if you want to take your flying to the next level, Coastal Drone has you covered. Whether you're just starting out with basic, aiming for the advance or getting ready for the new level one complex beyond line of sight operations, we've got the training tools and support to help you get there. Head on over to coastaldrone.co to learn more. And if you're interested in our upcoming level one complex course, fill out the form linked below to join our insiders list. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the sky.